Welcome back to Y Gaming. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about Generation Zero. And on Monday, which is three days away from now the time at the time of recording, we will be seeing the Dangerous Experiments update, which will feature a whole host of new goodies alongside the Eastern European Weapons Pack, which will be a paid DLC. This is obviously optional as it's a paid DLC. The rest of the update, which we've talked about before, will be free. But in this update, this weapons pack, sorry, will include three new weapons. Now, I have said many of times before that I am not the biggest fan of the weapon packs. I think we have too many weapons already in game and the weapon packs do, especially some of the recent ones, feel more like a sort of cash grab because they don't really offer much sustenance. They're not the greatest and there's not really much to them. Hopefully, the Eastern European weapons pack proves me wrong, but we shall see. Now let's have a little bit of a look at what the team posted earlier on today. But just quickly before we do that, I do want to point out that the Generation Zero team are doing a hell of a load of giveaways. On the first day of Christmas, the Resistance gave to me a Phoenix Rising DLC key. So if you head over to their Twitter, they'll be doing giveaways from now all the way up until Christmas. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Uh, you can win yourself all sorts of awesome goodies. They haven't said exactly what it is, but it does look like it's going to be lots of keys. So stick around. Their Twitter link is in the description down below. So if you do want to check it out, get down there, have a little bit of a look. There's some awesome stuff on their Twitter, and it is one of the best ways to stay up to date with Generation Zero news. Now, back to the weapon pack. So these are the three weapons that we'll be seeing. As you can see here, we are getting the PKM, the Scorpion, and the Mosin. I am a little bit excited about the Scorpion and the Mosin. PKM, not really that interested, but the other two could be very, very cool. And they released this alongside um, something like this. We're bringing Eastern Touch to Osterton, introducing three new European weapons to turn the resistance a little bit more dangerous. Available December the 12th in Osterton and Generation Zero. Pretty damn cool. Now, price point for this weapon pack. It could be anything. Obviously the bike DLC did release quite high, so they could potentially do the same with this one. And it is what it is. They, uh, they price them how they feel is reasonable and what players are willing to pay. Now, I do think it will be around the four to five pound mark. Um, normally they've been anything from 299, 399, 499. So I do think it will be around around about five pound. If it is more than that, I, I doubt they will, but it, it, it could go that way, like the bike DLC. But bikes was something that masses of the community wanted. So they could have charged, they could definitely have charged a higher price for those for that reason. Now, weapon packs, something a lot of people are interested in, but at the same time, I think it's a, a very even split in the Generation Zero community. Um, some people aren't interested, some people are very interested. So, we'll see, we'll see. Ho hopefully, they're received well. Hopefully, they look and feel a lot better than the last weapon pack that we got, but we shall see. So, another weapon pack in GZ. What do you guys think? It is definitely um, going on now. They're adding a lot more weapon packs. There's a lot of weapons in game already. Obviously, we'll be seeing three new experimental weapons on the 12th, but alongside that, we'll be having to go through the Reaper to get those. At least with these, you buy the DLC, um, you get the weapons, well, three crown variants of those weapons in your Plundra straight away. So, it's not really that much. It's not too much of a fuss. We shall see. We shall see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. For now, though, that is it from me. I've been Wired. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you very soon with some more Generation Zero.